What's up guys, it's Ori. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and the Sweden is not overpowered campaign. Don't believe the propaganda, Sweden absolutely is overpowered. This uh, nice and beautiful 20% infantry combat ability right from the get-go is amazing. That being said, did not save us at the end of last episode. At the end of last episode, I made the brilliant strategic decision to try and help Muscovy out with his uh, rebel problem, which is these guys. Yeah, I didn't check the military tech level before we did that, so we kind of got smashed, unfortunately. And now we have to deal with them sieging down the rebel, the, uh, the lands we took from Novgorod, because they are Novgorodian separatists, unfortunately, and the Russian bear is involved in a war in the south. So, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. We're about to find out, though, so let's get right into it. We do have our fort in uh, Vyborg, Norway. Fabricated claims on us. Muscovy canceled military access. Okay, so they do have to siege Vyborg. Good, good, good. Liberatus S? What the? I don't even know what that word is. Um, S I'm not even going to try at this point. Uh, to do, we don't want the clergy to gain influence. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Eh. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's absolutely well. Okay, so Neva is de sieged thanks to Viborg, which means we can continue working on getting it cored. Scotland still wants an alliance, which is not good. I don't want an alliance with Scotland. Who's our other ally? Um, Austria. That's right. Let's go ahead and improve relations with Austria a little bit further. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to play this. I'm not real sure how this is going to work. We need to get Miltech caught up, obviously. Kexholm will be besieged thanks to Viborg. Oh, this is a mess, though. This is an absolute mess. So... Check our economy. Still losing money. Not bad. We did take a loan. Uh, we're a thousand, roughly a thousand. No, we're two thousand men down in our army. We have a ge decent general on the bright side. So, uh, Saint Proclaim. Free stability. Absolutely would take that. Uh, no. How close are we on tech? Oh, why? So it's going to be September of next year. Okay. So basically, these guys are going to just march back and forth and siege. And these still will get de-sieged. I, uh, I do want to go de-siege some of the other provinces as well, but that army patrolling around. You know what? Let's just move up to uh, Savolak. Savolax? Yeah, that's how you said. Okay, Novgorodian separatists. Oh, that's bad. That's not good at all. We already raised autonomy here. Hmm. Hmm. This is not good. So, yeah. Oh, we're taking attrition. Can't be taking attrition right now when we're trying to recover our army strength. Ah, it was a waste of a monthly tick of reinforcements. This will be desieged. You know, eventually these cores will get done. Eventually. Thanks to that fort we have in Viborg. No, Muscovy. No. No, please be friendly. Uh, the way this is looking, this campaign might end up falling apart completely. And then we'll restart. And you know, I'm okay with that, actually. Would not mind if, you know, wouldn't be the end of the world if this all fell apart. Okay, nope. Oh, there goes the alliance. There it goes. They're probably going to go to war with us now. As soon as that truce is up. There we go. This is Diplotech, which we'll grab right now. Oh, who paid our foreign debt? Is that Poland? Um, uh, hmm, where is the log? Wait a minute. Alright. 
Is Nevacord yet? No. No, not quite. Yeah, this is bad. How big are the Nogradian Separatists going to be? 8k. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know if they're going to have Miltech 4 or not like Muscovy's Separatists did. I hope not. Come on, core it faster. Okay. Our army is in a... Alright, our army's back at full strength, which is awesome. We're going to bump up our maintenance, get the morale back. Let's see, this is woods. Forest, which is nice. Let's see, this is forest. So this is all forest in here, pretty much. Yep. So we'll let our uh, morale tick back up while we are waiting. Let's see, what was I going to check? What to do? Let's see, oh, force limit. That's what I was gonna check. Nope, we are at force limit. Can't really afford to build ships right now, unfortunately. Yep, there it went. So those are. Ah, I don't like this. This is bad. Okay, we can start marching to Kexholm. When will we get there? Get to Vyborg on the 19th. You guys will get there the 30th. No, not yet. Wait for another tick. Now go. Deal with these Separatists. These are our Separatists, fortunately. Not Muscovy, so we can kill them. Well, they still had the Miltech lead on us, probably. Let me check. Yep, Novgorod had the Miltech, so that's what it is. Okay. Hey, now we have Miltech as well. So, it's not the end of the world. Might be, we'll probably be able to salvage this pretty easily. Let Muscovy deal with the rest of the rebels, since they're no longer our ally. Probably just because we stole those two provinces. Don't even care. We need them. We need Neva and Ingerman land. Alright. So that's dealt with. The Separatists fired already. Okay, we did not get the chance to bump up autonomy there, so we'll do that now. The unrest is done there. Huh. We'll just keep an eye on it at this point. Pull back to Viborg. We can lower maintenance again before we start having to take more loans. There we go. Hmm, somebody wants to hire Konditari. Nope. Not worth it right now. Alright, so we have unrest in these provinces. Muscovy now hates us. I think we need some uh, bigger allies. Poland. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Poland, my friend. I have no diplomats. Oh, you're still not back yet, derp. Yay, Poland. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Royal marriage from Poland. Absolutely. So that'll help uh, potentially deter the Russian bear from coming to kill us immediately. I think we can go ahead and turn down maintenance on this fort. For now. Okay, that should be fine. There's some devastation there. The devastation's gone in these two. Kexholm's a part of our land. Okay, now we're just waiting on Corellia. And, well, Corellia's almost done. Ingermanland. Nice. Austria has Renaissance. I wonder if we could develop for, uh, let's see, what's the next institution, if I remember? Let's see, colonialism. Let's see. Have to have exploration ideas. Okay. Have to have exploration ideas if we want to try and get colonialism spawned for us. Which might actually be well worth it. Thinking about it. Hmm. So those are full cores now. The autonomy is still on godly high. Wrong religion. Can't really convert anything right now. Can't afford advisors right now. Humiliate rival against Denmark and Livonia. Okay. Wonder why we're getting that now. Actually, let's improve relations with our good buddy, Poland. 
One more tick on the Denmark spy network. Oh, actually, we don't need another one. It's, hmm. Now, this is tough. What do we take here? We already have a claim on Blacking. Let's go ahead and just get a claim on Gyonj. I want to try and get claims on all of this. Oh, that got broken up. Hmm. I, if I remember right, that was just a couple of provinces. That was just two provinces. Huh. Or maybe I don't remember right. That's entirely possible as well. The, the latter seems more likely than the first. Okay, so who wants provinces? The nobility. That's fine. You can have one of these. You can have Corellia. I take it. I don't want it. Okay. Keeps our estates a little happier. Uh, I think we paid that loan off. Yeah, must have paid that loan off just barely. Okay, we can drop army maintenance all the way down. Done recovering. Uh, no, that's all right. We had that free stability event, so I don't mind burning one. Let's see. Almost an admin tech. Hmm. So when's our truce up with these guys? Oh, Norway's having a rough day. Norway is absolutely having a rough day. Oh, so our truce is up. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't like 70, losing 75 admin points, but okay. Hmm. So our truce is up with Denmark and Norway. They do have some rather annoying allies, though. Let's see about Livonia. Hmm. Okay, so we got all our cores done finally. Let's check unrest through here. Hmm. Not great by any stretch of the imagination, but I think we can handle it. Let's just hope Muscovy doesn't decide as soon as our truce is up that we need to die. Did our force limit go up once we got that core? Nope. Lame. You know, I think we're good on Denmark. Let's go ahead and start getting the spy network in Livonia, or the Livonian order, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, see, they're already fabricating claims on us, so we need to get going on that. Hmm. Oh, wow, that all fell back to Novgorod. Okay, so Muscovy just lost Novgorod. Call our diplomat from Austria. Let's see, where do we send him now? That's the question. Hmm, that is the question. Where do we send him? Hmm, I think we send you to Norway to get a spy network going. No, we don't need to. Uh, on the leg, let's see. I would love a claim on Acker shoes, but unfortunately we're not bordering yet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for Oplanda. I think is how you say that. Yep, there we go. We got a CB against Norway now. It's nice. Making some decent money. Let's see if... Sometimes I know this number isn't always right, so let's check it. Yeah, up. Oh, there it went. And updated. So we can actually hire an advisor. We're going to hire a military advisor. Got the land maintenance. Just to get that extra mil tech. So we do want to really focus on military right now. Try and beat Muscovy to Miltech 5. I think we can do it, though. I absolutely think we can beat Muscovy to Miltech 5. We're getting a nice little uh, discount here because Novgorod and Muscovy have it. Have Mil or, uh, Admin Tech 4, excuse me. Eh, now a little uh, bit of peace and prosperity. Um, I hope. I really, really hope. So the Novgorodian separatists are going to be an issue again. We're just going to harsh treatment them into the ground. Our corruption's good. Our manpower's coming back. Making money. Good, good, good. Well, that could have ended very, very, very poorly. Did cause Muscovy to break our alliance, though. Our truce is up in 1460 next year. Hmm, I don't quite like this. I do not feel comfortable with that, but 
So be it. So be it. Let's see. Um. Hmm. You know, we'll just go ahead and take that, actually. Okay, so the they don't desire our provinces as much now. Uh, uh, I don't like this. This is bad. This might end very, very poorly. Let's see. Oh, come on, two months. Actually, no, we'll be able to get it next. No. That's military. That's military points, not admin. Okay, we are still under Queen Regency. I just realized that. For another two years, let's go ahead and get our admin tech going right now. Just to get caught up. And let's see. Where do we go from here? I think we just sit tight for the time being. I lied. Um, your claim on Narva. So, you guys, uh, Poland, huh? Hmm. We'll see what happens. We may end up having to break that alliance with Poland as well. I hope not, because we do need all these provinces along here. I hope we can just sneak in and grab them. Uh, Teutons are already getting smashed. We'll get another claim, and then maybe see about starting a war with uh, the Livonian Order. Nope, I wanted that claim. Okay, there's our truce up with Muscovy. I am a little scared right now. Just a little. So, Muscovy, let's, uh, let's be friendly, shall we? Please? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Alright. Uh, almost have enough for another claim on Denmark. Almost have a large enough spy network. Hmm. That's a tough call. Teutons aren't really doing much. They're getting sieged down pretty hard. Okay, we'll get our another claim against Denmark. I want Lund. Okay. I think we need to go right now on this, actually. Riga and Denmark. Oh, I forgot about Denmark. Derp, never mind. We'll hold off. We will hold off. Um, come on. One corruption. That's not nice. Okay, losing a little money. Maintain the diplomat in Muscovy. Uh, let's see about this, actually. Hmm. So, Austria, your friends are... Who is that? Augsburg. That's Salzburg. Augsburg. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and improve relations with Hungary, I guess. Oh, wow, the Poles are having some uh, rebel issues. And that's sorted. Unfortunately, that's sorted for them. So, yeah. Well, I think this is as good a spot as any to end the episode. Not the most exciting episode in the world, but so be it. Kind of just dealing with what we took from Novgorod last time. So, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next